Okay, so today we're solving um, problem 23 on the practice test. Apply the second derivative test to find all relative extrema of f of x is equal to x times e to the x. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is just solve for the first derivative and the second derivative. So we'll write down the function again, which is x times e to the x. Um, thing to remember here we're using product rule and we also have an exponential here so the derivative of that is just simply e to the x times the derivative of the first or not of the first but of the exponent itself which in this case is one so f prime is going to be equal to x times e to the x plus e to the x times one um, factor it out, so we'll have e to the x times x plus 1. So this is our first derivative. Um, what we're going to do now is we're just going to solve for the critical number. So any way you look at it, um, when we're setting this equal to 0, e to the x is not going to be 0, so basically just going to cross that out. So then we have x plus 1 is equal to 0, which means that our critical number is x is equal to negative 1. So we're just going to draw a little number line there. There's our critical number. So at this point, we know that this is our critical number. What we want to find out is whether or not there's is going to be a relative min or a relative max, if in fact we have a relative min or max and um, what the exact point is if we do have one. So in order to do that, we're going to use the second derivative. So to solve for that, f double prime of x is equal to, and this is actually really kind of nice because you know that it, it's going to be the same as this here, then plus one more of these, so x e to the x plus e to the x and then plus e to the x again. So when you pull it out, you're going to have e to the x times x plus 2. Make sure that's legible there. So this is your second derivative here. And then in order to find out whether we have a relative max or min, we're literally just going to plug in our critical number straight into the second derivative there. And what this is going to tell us is what the concavity is. So if we know that if it's concave up, that we're going to have a relative min. And if it's concave down, that we're going to have a relative max. So to the negative 1 times negative 1 plus 2. So this is always going to be positive. Then you've got negative 1, 2, so this entire thing is going to be greater than 0. So this means that it's concave up. This is our point down here, so we have a relative min. Okay, so then to finish up the problem, we're just going to solve for the point of the relative min. So we're going to take our critical number and we're just going to plug it into the original function. So we've got f of negative 1 is equal to negative 1 times e to the negative 1. So that leaves us with negative e to the negative 1, which is anything to a negative power is supposed to be in the denominator. So we are going to have negative 1 over e. So our point is actually at negative 1, negative 1 to the e. And this is our relative min. And there you go.